support some small local businesses and take advantage of some deals at over 30 different restaurants. So Lisa Ortiz is live in East Sacramento getting us a preview of Savor East Sac. Hey, who? Hey, good morning to you. And I just love how this worked out. There are 30 different businesses participating in Savor East Sac, and we just happen to start at a coffee shop, which, you know, I love because I always need a little extra coffee, especially on a Friday after this week. So we are at Timberit by the park here in East Sac, right here at the McKinley Square, Alhambra, and 8th Street. So this is such a fun thing. 30 different businesses participating, and you can pick up some swag, too, while you are supporting locals. Take a look at those. Those are like the upgraded solo cups. I love it. <laughs> I've got Frank with the ESEC Chamber with me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you. So this is happening. It starts today. It's over the next 10 days, and it's an opportunity to really a, a kind of an extra push to help support these local businesses that may have had some challenging uh, months. Yeah, this is a transition period. All the kids yeah. are still out of school. A lot of teachers are still out vacationing. So we're trying to drive some business back into the community. Yeah. So they've been doing this for over 13 years. Uh -huh. uh, so Saver starts today. Uh, yeah. We're actually having two events today. We're having here right now, and then at 3 or 3.30, we're doing Bricklands to five, and then we're closing out on the 27th at my good friend uh, Bombay mm -hmm. Bar and Grill on 21st Street. But really, just kind of giving back and, like I said, come in, say hi to us. With the website's there, over 30 different restaurants, breweries. Yeah shops and stuff like that really just to drive support to the community and so each one of the restaurants and businesses they're offering their own little deal it could be a little discount it could be an extra dessert something like that and then they're doing these separate events like here this morning when you come by and get your little coffee at tip Red, you get an opportunity to win one of these fabulous cups well you get a you get a cup if you yeah. do their oh. deal if you pastry and right now they're doing a small coffee or tea whatever they do if they can buy a pastry you get a cup and then you also scan the qr code and you get entered for the grand prize all the different restaurants and breweries are also doing a gift card so at the end Every day you can get one entry per location, and yeah, that's the grand prize to get some gift cards at the end. I like it. That sounds like a win-win-win to me. All right, let's go in and check out Tiffret, shall we? Um, I love this because it is coffee and some fabulous pastries. Um, they have been open, I think she said, nine years. I'm going to come bother Natasha over here. I'm going to bug you for a second. I know oh, you're so busy. <laughs> let's come over here. So this shop has been open nine years. You actually started here as a barista a few, like when they started and Reese and took it over your, on your own two years ago. I did. It was so much fun. I couldn't be more happier. Yeah. And with this community, it's been a very easy transition. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, so the deal for a Saver Isak for you is you get a, you buy a pastry? Yep, buy one of our pastries from a local bakery. Uh -huh. What do we got over here? What we have chocolate croissants, ham and cheese croissants. Mm -hmm. Those go really fast. They're really popular. We have apricot scones, mm -hmm. cinnamon rolls, puff pastry. Can't go wrong with the blueberry muffins. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah. And so when you buy a pastry, then you get either a coffee or tea? Yeah, absolutely. A okay. small coffee or iced tea, either one, whichever you prefer, works mm -hmm. for me. Okay, I had her make these because she said this is kind of... These are the popular things oh. at the coffee shop. So we have a chaga chino. It's an alternative to the coffee drink, which okay. is a mushroom. It's the best with oh. any choice of milk. Okay. And we have a delicious chai tea latte that's really good definitely newsworthy <laughs> <laughs> yes yes it is i love it so okay, there you go tip red um by the park right here at alhambra and h you can come on by i mean why not start your friday off with a little coffee and a pastry help support your local business and then you also get one of those fabulous solo cups that say east sacramento on it how about that I love it. Also, is it bad if you have a ham and cheese croissant and then a chocolate croissant for dessert after that? <laughs> is that frowned upon? Absolutely not. That's just proper planning. Absolutely not. Because when she said chocolate croissant. That's proper planning, exactly. When she said chocolate croissant, I went, ooh. And then she said ham and cheese. I was like, ooh, even more. <laughs> ooh. Why don't we yeah, do I'm both? the same. Same. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it.